what's the crack lads welcome back to the channel and welcome to another thursday update let's see what's new we're just logging in and checking what we have here so we've got all the rewards here obviously we're going to get this unavailable we'll talk about that in a second uh, but that kind of like tells us the date that we're going to be having this next big major update 4.2 right this 4.2 update is going to be released in december and honestly that's when i think the game is going to change probably most uh compared to the last maybe six to twelve months because at the moment lads it's just rinse and repeat it's just the events it's just new cards and there's not really to play the game for you know what i mean like pushing divisions is fine man if you've got 40 hours a week that you want to push and really try and dominate or if you just want to push and try and get the highest rank you can if you're coming in after work or you're chilling out on a, on a weekend but there's actually nothing really to play for and i've talked about this for quite a while that it's very frustrating that there is nothing really to play for unless you can dedicate a lot of time to it okay but we do have a lot of our login bonuses here, including the Spain chance deal and this new Rodri national team campaign as well. So you can get this free Rodri. It's not the player of the year edition, but it's a pretty decent card that you are going to get a Rodri. I mean, they could have updated his hair a little bit as well in his face, but he's got 24 levels. It's not a bad card at all. Uh, it's not as good, obviously, as the big Showtime one that they released, but still, it's something uh, for free. And then also with that as well, you are going to have the Spain national team campaign, which is going to be a special login present to Rodri we just got. And also the two highlight cards that we get there. And then another two that you can get in the objectives. So listen, it's something. It's something. Sorry, I'll just hide my webcam here just to show you the graphics there. It's something, boys. It's something. Now, as for everything else, right, let's go from left to right because there's a couple of little bits to get through here. Not massive, massive stuff added, but it's just a few bits just to keep you guys up to date. So co-op is back and they actually have co-op now that's going to be lasting for 14 days. It's going to be lasting two weeks. I know a lot of people were asking about this. So it's a small win, I think, that this team play fun is there for the next two weeks. You have the English clubs event here that's going to give you your skill trainers. You've got your European national teams, which is going to give you a random booster. And then obviously the team play is going to give you skill trainers. And these are all online. So these are going to be against other users, skill trainer there as well. And of course, you will get on uh, the offline you'll have the spain team event you're going to get 50 e football coins for this one to be honest with you this isn't bad right so obviously you have to use all players from spain and it is to celebrate the kind of euro victory that they have you get 50 coins there you're also going to be getting your trainer program here from using any of these teams uh, once you amass a, a lot of points you're going to get trainers and all that sort of stuff the english club is going to be the player of the week and then the european club and the uh, co-op event offline is going to be ongoing as normal Right, so we are on our free-to-play account here, and we did finish in Division 3 in that, I think. We didn't really play, so we're back into Division 5 here. There's a brand new phase of that, and also there is a brand new phase in the Match Pass. And the Match Pass is actually a special uh, Match Pass this week, because you actually get any coins that you spend to get the Match Pass, you're going to get them back. So if you spend 500 here, we obviously still have the, the lower-rated Match Pass here, so it's going to be 250 to buy this pack. But there's 500 coins in this, as you see here. Just a quick look. You've got 50, you've got 60, you've got 70, 80. You've got another 90 there, 150 there. Um, and it's the same with the premium. So there's a 1,000 back in the premium as well. Now listen, I, I think that it's pretty it's pretty decent that you get a 1,000 back. And obviously you're going to be able to get some of these players as well. We'll have a look at the nominating contracts as well. So the match pass is actually quite good, is that you might as well buy it. I think that probably a lot of people aren't buying match pass. I think Konami are probably looking to see like what is the sweet spot for people to actually buy the match pass. Because at the moment, there's no real point in buying it, right? So that's kind of pretty much everything there as normal. We have the brand new national team campaign. Now, this is only going to be going on for two weeks. So they will have a brand new campaign with that. I reckon the Black Friday campaign, as we said yesterday in our video. And again, that's just going to be all your objectives here. If you want to get some coins, you want to get some login bonuses, it's pretty easy to clear those. And then it's going to be on to the players, right? So we're going to go on and talk about a couple of players here. We obviously have the daily game still ongoing as well. Let me just hide this again because we will talk about the players and show you their positions and stuff, right? You've got your J-League, Tulio and Abe there as your J-League players. They're obviously going to have bullet header and this DMF is going to be a double booster as well. Player of the week, Luckman, Almo, Kirkus. Uh, you've got a lot of players in here. Kubo is there as well as Solanke. Uh, we kind of guessed pretty much all of these that are coming here yesterday's video. Uh, I thought that, well, they'll probably hold back a few players as well for the European Player of the Week uh, there as well. The World Player of the Year is still ongoing. And, of course, the European Club Attackers is still ongoing. We'll get to what's coming Monday as well in a second. But also with that, they have added new nominating contracts. You've got Brazilian League, Turkish League, J League, and, of course, this new Earth Mover. 
So this new Earth Mover, Dan Byrne is probably the pick of them, just having a look here at the stats. Um, you've got Onana, you've got Dovbik, you've got Mateta, you've got Casemiro, Dan Byrne, and Isaac Torre. It's okay. I mean, they don't have great levels. You're not going to... You're not going to get really good players for this. Dan Byrne is probably the pick of him. He's a defensive fullback. He's really, really tall. He's the collar killer, if he can be called that. Poor acceleration, but everything else is pretty decent on this card. And he's just a giant. Casemiro is pretty decent as well. Those are his stats. And then, of course, you have Onana, who's probably the pick of all the five stars, to be fair. Um, apart from Byrne, you've got Torre here as well. With his stats, you've got Mateta. And last but not least, you have got center forward Beast himself. Now, he's not bad either, but yeah, just very average balance there. Um, a couple of nice stats, but that's about it. So, not really to shout home about. All in all, lads, I do think that this is a very, very uh, kind of disappointing uh, like update today. Uh, I mean, I thought that we would definitely get a few more bits and pieces. So, the last but not least thing that we do get is a brand new manager, and it is Patrick Vieira from the 1920 season. It's only 500 coins. You get Patrick Man Patrick Vieira, um, it, you get 40,000 XP, so it's kind of like the old school one, you get no players with this, and it is from Nice when he was with Nice back in the 1920 season, and it's an out wide long ball. Now hopefully, hopefully, that gives you an example here of how this is going to, how the gameplay is going to switch up a little bit. Interestingly enough, Vieira does not get a double booster like Arteta got a double booster, right? So this seems to be something that they probably were going to release a while back. And I've talked about this in the streams before. Sometimes they have things already in the database or they already have things planned and they just don't release them for whatever reason until a couple of weeks later when they have a little bit of a dry spell with the content. And I think that this campaign, the Spanish League campaign or the National Team Spanish campaign, I think it's going to be cleared in probably about like two or three hours. We'll see on stream later today. And I think it's probably, yeah, it's one of the worst Thursday updates I've seen. Now, obviously, um, that is going to be a nice manager there. But yeah, it is a pretty bad update in my opinion. But I think a lot of people are going to be happy that finally we are getting the Dutch trio. So Rijkaard, Holland, and Van Basten look to be coming on Monday. I'm going to have a video on that. I'm going to have a talk a little bit about it in the live stream as well. But that is pretty much it for your Monday content, lads. Honestly, I, I do feel as if... Yeah, I just feel like that the game is now needed. Like, there's a big update now needed for the game. Like, the events, the eFootball League... I just feel like that we're at kind of an impasse with it in terms of like it needs something fresh to sink our teeth into. Now, a couple of people were asking me this as well. They've actually changed the penalty uh, shooter as well. So Castolo is gone and they've replaced it with the Spanish striker, Joslu. I, I feel like that they just need to come out and just literally with V4.2, man, it needs to bang. And when I say it needs to bang, I'm not expecting anything massive, massive, massive from it. But there needs to be some reasons to play the game beyond objectives or beyond you know, cards, beyond being the ultimate prize as cards, you know, it needs to be competitive while also being fair, you know, that's the big thing I think with the game at the moment, because for me, you know, they've done good stuff with the, with the cards, they've done good stuff with the match pass now, they've actually given you some reason to actually, you know, build a squad, but in terms of giving you a reason to play the game beyond getting to Division 1, once you get to Division 1, man, you're going to be coming up against guys that are literally playing the game at an almost, you know, professional level in terms of the amount of hours that they're putting in. You know what I'm saying? And it's very hard to compete every match against that. Sometimes you just want to come in and you just want to chill. And it's like, you get to Division 1, do you have to, you know, do you have to relegate yourself to go back to Division 2 so that you can sit there on a Saturday with a beer and a pizza and chill out a little bit, you know? Because there's nothing else to play. It has to be Divisions. And that's not an anti-competitive type thing. Obviously, it's get good, Yeah. But I do feel as if that they need to add some sort of other league or some sort of other kind of like, you know, mode where there's like a little, not less, like not more casual, but more rewarding, if that makes sense. But anyway, that is it, boys. We'll be back very, very soon. Sorry, I thought my webcam was on there, but it wasn't. <laughs> but uh, we'll be back in the live stream. Hope to see you then. Let me know what you think of this update. Peace.